welcome back to another Train Simulator Classic live stream. We're back on the Midland Main Line today. So really sort of hyped for it on Train Even though it's probably still months away, already really hyped for it. Uh, and we're going to be in the Class 158, although this time we're not going to be in the Cummins 158. I believe we're actually going to be, hopefully if it works, in the Perkins uh, Engine 158. Today. I did pick it up, it was about £7, I already own the other one. Um, so yeah, I picked up the Perkins one, so hopefully now this scenario will work fine. Fingers crossed. Uh, although, mm, I didn't install the branding patch. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm also going the 43 as well. Uh, I probably did the same, with, the same one we did yesterday. Anyway, we've got Gregory and Mr. Man. How are you? So <laughs> drive forwards this time. Oh yeah, well hopefully it loads. Um, oh, you know, it has loaded. There we go. So it is the Perkins. Well, it's just the 220, but I don't have that. That's like 30 quid or something like that. Good evening. Please drive to, uh, please press T and prepare your cab before we depart uh, at 17.52 of this all station service to. Mm, was that Nottingham? Nottingham. Let's get this all set up. So, yeah, this one has the um, um, Perkins engine. So this is the one we ain't getting in train sim. I actually don't know what the technical difference is between them. They probably are fairly similar. Um, but yeah, this is the the Perkins engine uh, 158. Uh, let's do that. Uh, tail lights, they can go off. Um, oh, can we use the GSMR on this one? Oh, we can. Oh, we could on the other one anyway, couldn't we? Um, I'm thinking of another pack. Uh, well, I suppose we can do that. Um, can someone tell me the head code there? What's the head code? Because I can't see that. I'm going to guess 2 alpha 5 5. Yeah, what's that um, head code there? If anyone can pop it in the chat, that would be lovely. If I quickly get that signal number. <laughs> Fair enough, David. Um, 5056. Five, so I imagine for that, I'll just put 056. The last three numbers, I think. Um, as well, there was another one we've done before. So, yeah, what is the head code? <laughs> if anyone does put it in the chat, top left up there, where my, where my cursor is, two alpha nine five. Cheers for that. Uh, two alpha nine five two, alpha nine five. Oh, have you forgotten the one at the uh, end tier zero five six? I think you'd put that uh, zero five six. There we go. So that's now registering uh, our lead driver. There you go, 2 alpha 9 5, we're all set up. Um, doors should be open, but well, they're shutting now. And there we go, so that's Fonded next. Yeah, fairly similar to the uh, Cummings. And we're off. We, uh, as we leave Derby so we're going to be going on a little bit of track we didn't actually go on yesterday which sort of links the uh, I suppose Nottingham and Derby spur together uh, what do you know about the Midland Main Line that it's diesel <laughs> uh, not not much not much how I designed Nottingham Station in the new DLC. You sometimes travel there from London to meet my girlfriend. You wish they did the route to St Pancras, though, instead of Leicester. Fair enough. Well, I suppose we already are getting about 40 miles worth of track, aren't we? So, for the sort of first UK route, that's not too bad. You know, it could have literally just been Leicester to Nottingham and that was it. But it's nice they've got Derby in there as well. Hello, Craigo. Um, Alright, hopefully you're all well. So who's looking forward to uh, to this coming out? Which I'm going to guess as well. well I don't know. I'm, I'm going to make a rough guess that maybe this will be out April, May time. Definitely still a few months away. Because I think it was still you know, fairly early images. Yeah, I'm going to guess early summer this will be out. Well, it could be longer though, who knows. That's a 
complete gets. That's all plan sounds there. Yeah, we are going to be getting the 158, uh, the Super Sprinter, that will be on the um, Train Sim World version, although it's going to be the Cummins engine one, whereas at the moment we're driving the Perkins one. Yesterday we were in the um, Cummins one. So a fairly quick route as well. Yeah, you got 100 miles an hour coming up. Hello, Top. How are you? I'll start getting ready for Spondon, which I think was quite a quite a short platform. Yeah, now we've also got the 158, um, both of the AP packs. Um, uh, we should be now be able to do the Riviera line, uh, the modern Riviera line in the 158. I probably will get the 150 at some point, but I'll probably get that on a sale. That's not as bothered about that. Fair enough, uh, David. Things out of well, out of what trains we're getting on this route, which we know 158 and HST. What are you most looking forward to? A sort of re, a refurbished, different engine to HST, which hopefully will be awesome, or the 158. What are you more looking forward to? It might be too, uh, too, yeah, you know, too early days to, to say, yeah, you know, what you're more, more looking forward to. Uh, yeah, the 158 or the 43. <laughs> yeah, not too bad, Mr. Mel. Now, what was it? It was like 30. 75, 80, 100, something like that so far. It's fairly straightforward. Here we are. Yeah, I've seen a few 158s. Um, so they used to do the uh, Brighton to Cardiff, Great Marvin, Temple Meads, those sorts of services. Which sadly, they don't do anymore. So I haven't seen one. For probably actually almost a year I haven't seen a 158. Remember that's when I went on the um the Downs Link walk about yeah about a year ago or so. Here comes the triple T. I know this is this is this is a lovely detail though that we got the uh the less we forget um remembrance um thingy which is uh yeah nice to see nice little detail there. Off that goes, eh? Now, not too long, and after this, it is Long Eaton, then we've got Attenborough, uh, Beeston, and then Nottingham at 20. So, we've got about half an hour to Nottingham. You said the HST, yeah, well, I think me too, yeah. It's just going to be nice to see a, re a refreshed HST. Finally, on another route we can run it on. Right now, we can run it on the Cross City, but. You know, like a fully new one with a new company. But you've gone the 158 locally, so it's good to see that. Fair enough. A window open now. Right, Long Eaton next. We can get there. We go. You're most looking forward to the Peak Forest. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. It does look beautiful though, from those initial screenshots, even though they're very heavy work in progress, it already does look very nice. And we're off. Long eating next. And yeah, we'll drive the uh, HST after this again. How could we not? It'll be criminal not to. You can see where we're going though. So the train sim world bit will just be well I'll be over here, down to Leicester, down here, and then Leicester up to Nottingham. So none of this bit up here that will be there. 
Although this bit here is actually going to be part of the steam route. There's Ambergate, which is one end of it. Yeah, we're going there. Can't wait to get a, uh, a nice uh, flyby shot. Not the nicest horn, really. a little bit later on actually as if it's work in school at the moment but I thought we'll get a bit of train sim down uh, then what else will we doing today no clue Side though. Well, to be honest, we say that about every single route we do. Nice bit of countryside. But it is, it is nice. Cool. Yeah, it's cool we got this pack though. I suppose it's very, uh, well, tons of train companies have a 158, so it's quite good now we've got it. Both both the packs as well. Hello Joseph, how are you? Oh, what is that? That's weird. It's a big line. Interesting. So the weather's changing possibly. Maybe that's what it was. It's a bit more rainy for I think. Yeah, definitely. I think it has changed a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, clouded the weather a bit. New German route from TSG looks it looks it looks like an alien landscape, doesn't it? As opposed to what we're used to for German content, it looks uh, fantastic. Like a, a, like a, just a, a mint land, a mint green, just a green, a, the land of green. But the lighting on it, the colours on it, it was like whoa. Uh, so yeah, that looks really cool. I suppose yeah, a whole sort of alien landscape of Germany and train route we haven't seen before. Yeah, that's, I was really surprised when I saw the uh, video in the Nintel Barn, just how different it looks to, I suppose, anything else we have in the game. Lighting, sort of wise, colour wise, the sort of vegetation, it just looks great. Now see Joseph, what happened? This is uh, Long Eaton. Cool. I'm all good, William. Hopefully, we're all well. I'm also tempted to pick up um, New York to Philly in the cell, but I don't know, maybe. It's only three quid, or £2.99, that makes it sound cheaper. Um, yeah, not sure. That's alright, JP. There'll <laughs> be plenty more of it to come. Right up until it releases on Train Sim World, which I suppose is probably still a few months away, so we'll be doing plenty of it on here. Especially now I've got it um, 
Perkins and Cummins. We can do it GWR, SWR. Lots of cool stuff we can do. Hello, Matty. How are you? You're going back to work again. Uh, you'll be alright. This is Long Eaton. And then after, oh, there's the, so that's the, that's the, that, yeah, that's, that over there is the Radcliffe Power Station. And then you've got East Midlands Parkway Station, which is, what, just next to it. So this is where we sort of go off and sort of join up with the Nottingham Spur of the route. So yeah, a bit of track we didn't, um, yeah, this one, Matty. Well, on Train Sim World at some point. Yeah, this is where we go off here. So we'll be going on this bit of track we didn't actually go on yesterday. I wonder if this will be included as well. Bit of freight opportunity there. Bit of long eaten. Are we doing train some off freight today? Not sure. I don't. I, 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 I absolutely no clue what we'll be doing next. No clue yet. Oh yeah, Gregory. That's it there. What stations does the HST stop at? I think it's. Uh, just East Midlands Parkway sort of as the intermediate stop. Also, we can see a bit more um, guard functionality. You know, where you hear the two buzzes from the guard. Maybe we'll see that on the train similar version. Or as really as a whole for any sort of upcoming UK route, it would be nice to actually just have the guard buzzer. You know, when you shut the door. Maybe there could be an, an, an yeah, maybe an option in the settings or something. You know, guard buzzer engaged or disabled or something like that that would be cool so when you shut the door at the station you have the ding ding maybe Gregory but there will probably be one stream tomorrow so I'll be going out acceleration's great though, on these although what's better though Cummins or Perkins for the uh, 158 Where's the better engine? Pop that down even further. Down to 15 coming around here. Oh, we don't know yet, Matty. No, we don't know for sure yet. Well, we don't, yeah, we don't know when it's coming. But probably we're in the next month. I'm just going to guess early summer. You know, still a few months away. Awesome, William. Don't blame you. They put more trains onto the new route, not two trains. But I think two is a fairly acceptable amount for this sort of route. You know, the HST, which does the fast services, and the 150, which does the slower services. I think that's fine. Um, and especially for layers and stuff, maybe we'll get some freight services and you can make use of the 66. Um, and I've said it's got to leave some as DLC. So I suppose the most obvious choice would be a triple two in future as DLC. Or maybe a one five six. Right, so we're now on the Nottingham spare of the route. After we sort of, sort of cut the uh, other bit out, swung round. Right, they're definitely getting cloudier, isn't it? Or darker. Let's see it keep changing. Yeah, lovely trains these are. 
Been on them a couple of times. And uh, each time, very much enjoyed it. I think they were even running on the North Downs line at one point for uh, GWR. Which I think now it's mostly. That's the tiniest whistleboard ever. I think mostly now it's the 165s uh, doing the North Downs line. But I'm pretty certain I've been on a 158 along the North Downs before. I remember the really skinny doors. So that's sort of the weird thing about this train. Look how skinny the doors are. Very narrow doors. We're drinking red wine. Lovely, uh, Gregory. A bit early, isn't it? Fair enough. Chilling out. Watching trains. Having a bit of wine. Right, coming up to Attenborough. Yeah, we'll get into the um, HST next and do some of that, which I think will probably be one up to Nottingham, or the one we did yesterday. Probably just the one we did yesterday. That's good. Definitely have to get back to the worry lines as well at some point because that they were beautiful. That was one of the best 12 could have spent in a while on the worry lines. Yeah, the cross country 170 out on the middle. I suppose there's tons of DLC opportunities, William. And if you bring out a, one, a 170, you could even have it with two operators. You could have the um, West Midlands Railway 170. Uh, and then well, I suppose bring it out alongside a cross country 170 and you could use it for cross city and for um, this route that'd be cool I think the train sim world version is going to be set well when East Midlands trains was about so what's that 2019 2018 2019 that was the last sort of pre-covid timetable I suppose at some point, uh, maybe at some, maybe one day in future, trains will go back to having a, you know, a full non-COVID, full capacity timetable. Don't know if they're actually yet. Will, will railways ever recover? It's a bit sad, really. I suppose sort of on the way out. Yeah, will railways actually ever recover from COVID? Seems a bit like a. A slight decline now in, in railways. There we go. I don't know. Do you think it is a slippery slope for railways? I suppose there's a lot more people do homework in and stuff like that. I don't think um capacity it's even back up to pre-covid yet but would it would it actually ever return not with all the strikes and the government wanting to pretty much just cut all of the bits and bobs this doesn't seem a bright future you also ordered liver and bacon for lunch there was no bacon that's a bit naughtier than them Got a bit of a while there, haven't we, at Attenborough? Do have it further? Oh, so any second now, and we got uh, Beeston. Or Beeston, Beeston, uh, which is. Probably can't actually see it. <laughs> you can see the station just there, that's a mile away. Wow. Um, it's like the west coast where, where you can see Port Slade from Fisher's Gate really visibly. Hello, NG. And we've got Nottingham in four miles. A good question for you, NG. I know you use the uh, trains a lot, but do you think is do you think railways will actually ever get back to that pre-COVID level? I don't know. You see, travel a lot, don't you? Or train to work and stuff. Or do you think it's quite a sort of 
slippery slope now, a sort of second decline in railways. And yeah, especially with all the sort of cuts the government wants to do to workers and customer service and stuff, wise. It seems like it's all downhill for uh, UK railways. Oh, nice, sir, William. Finally home, nice energy. Back in, I suppose, uh, a little nicer place. Nice, sir, uh, William. What bus is it, though? What did you say you lived a little bit outside Birmingham, NG? Most people don't like travelling on the train anymore due to strikes and costs to live in. During Covid, people were not commuting and realised how much they were saving by working from home, yeah. You want to see HST do a rail tour? As we come into Beeston. Fair enough, NG. Roots and dividers, yeah. Oh, nice, NG. Sad, really, I suppose. They were sort of on, on, on the rise. Capacity was needed as ever. And here we are. Well, how do you adapt, though? You know, scaling back on. Uh, Sort of routes which aren't used, or nice Craigo. There we are. This is Beeston. Right, let's pull up to that and do the doors. I think it's a thing cheaper than Avanti and LN WR, so maybe more now choosing to travel with them. Maybe uh, NG. Nottingham. They're slowly learning the stations on here, I suppose. Oh, I see, Adam. Well, the big question is: Is home working more productive than sort of at you know in the office working? Oh, they do, Andrew. They do. Well, I saw an article online. It was um, yeah in Germany. They've got like one pound for well, the equivalent to one pound forty travel, all across like for unlimited. No, what was it? Um, yeah, like a week of unlimited travel on the train in Germany is like one pound forty or something. That's crazy. <laughs> then a few of the comments were saying that's because bloody DB own all the bits and bobs here, so they just take all the money back there. That's why it's so cheap over there. That might be the reason, that might not be the reason, but yeah, so bloody cheap over there for trains. I suppose that's another good question. What is it a good question? I don't know. Because we've got so much overseas investment in the UK railways, but then they've just taken the profit back to there. I mean, in, I say in, over in Germany they get cheaper tickets and stuff because all the profits come from 
us and go to them and then they get cheap tickets. Fair enough. It's a, yeah. <laughs> That's what a few people were saying. It was um, on the sort of the, the post. Uh, I don't know, uh, Matty. Not sure. Yeah, not too sure. Yeah, hopefully not too long. Especially with this new upcoming DLC. Hopefully they can sort the um, the DLC limit out. So if not, I'll have to uninstall quite a lot more stuff just to get all the US stuff in. So was it three releases this month? It was the Acela New York Trenton and the Union Pacific Heritage Pack. All within, I suppose, the next, well, if they delay it or something, the next three weeks. Unless maybe they release two of them on the same day. Yeah, coming up to Nottingham, that was a nice, uh, nice run over from Derby. Should slow down. Got a little bit quick. I don't really want to get a spad. What time are we doing to Nottingham? We're doing there at 25 and it's 20 at the moment, so that's probably why we're a little bit early at the moment. That's not for us, is it? No, I don't think so. Could be. Get a little bit closer along. But we've got 22 people in. Thanks for coming in on this uh, um, Monday afternoon. A bit of a uh, bit of train sim. No, that is our one, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it. I think you got the trams up there as well. Which that was some more exciting news last night. Tram Sim is going to be coming to console soon, they said. And it's being published by Dovetail Games. So, so there's a slight kick in the teeth for Aerosoft. Um, but yeah, Dovetail Games are going to be publishing the um, console version. That'd be cool, Matty. Yeah. <laughs> And each way. Yeah, when you put it into that perspective, it does sound a bit pants. And some of Eurostar as well, that's really to see priced as well. You know, you probably get the plane to France, what, for 20 quid? And to get to uh, France on the train, it's like 200, 300 quid. into the HST again and give that a bash. There's another 156. Which I suppose could be another possible DLC for this route. Seems like a prison there also. Is that, is that a prison there? Yeah, there must be a prison there, mustn't there? Looks prisony. Yeah, it's sort of prison. Oh, I don't know. Sort of looks like it though. Sort of towers and stuff. Hello, quick eight. Then down to fifteen. Nice station, Nottingham. And yeah, then we'll probably end up doing the same scenario we did yesterday for the HST. Well, that was a good one. So, uh, down to Leicester from here. That sort of makes sense to start it from here as we're ending this one here.
or DLC am I most looking forward to? It's a tough one, really, because so many look so good. The Nidatal Barn, that caught my eye. That looks fantastic. Um, the new Steam route. Uh, this route. I, I, it's a tough one. I mean, it probably would be... Well, I don't know if it would be this one. I don't know. It's a tough one. I'm going to throw that question back to you, uh, Quicko. What are you most looking forward to? Because they just both, they all just look fantastic. Right, where's it actually want us to stop? There. Is there a stop marker? Mm, not sure. Just birth B. I suppose we'll go here. Here we are. Steam, yeah, Steam one, cool. Oh, CNG. You would have thought it being quite quiet if you were travelling this morning, though, NG. Sort of going out of London. Because as most people would be going in if it was the morning. That was good. Um, so that was Derby to Nottingham. Um, and the next one we'll do is in the uh, in the HST. Which I don't think we've actually seen the HST on, on this run. Maybe it's set on uh, when they went. Went to the San Diego Model Train Museum in Balboa Park yesterday. Uh, most modelled after West Coast Lines. Awesome. Very nice. Yeah, it's going to be good, the uh, NEC. It's got a funny horn. It's not, it's not the best horn, is it, really? Uh, great work on this short run tonight, driver. Nice. No, oh, maybe ENG. Well, let's hope it doesn't crash. You know what this game's like when it comes to crashing on the menu. It loves crashing on the menu. And um, we got to scroll right down as well. Uh, quit, don't crash, don't crash. Uh, right. Let's see. St Pancras and Nottingham. Oh, we'll do that one. Let's let's do that. So that's going the other way. Well, well, we'll do that then. Bit of a different scenario to uh, to the one we did last night. Just goes in the opposite direction. Although we are going back to the same place, but that, that's fine. Oh, it's Emoti. In we go. And I think the Festival of Rail does continue tonight as well. Uh, it sure is, Sam. Yeah, the Festival of Rail does continue tonight. I don't know what's the schedule for tonight. I know Rob Rob Hansen's doing something. Um, right. Uh, let's get that on. Uh, I wonder how you change the clag factor on here. What was that? I don't know what I'm pressing there. What's that? No, not that. What am, I, what am I pressing there? I don't know what I'm pressing. It almost sounded like the engine went off. That's because it did go off. That's, that's good. Well, it's coming back up now, so I think we're, we're all good. Well, I hope we're all good. <laughs> That sounds better. Wow. Oh, that sounds good. That was nice. Right, let's um, get this set up. Um, uh, that's all good. I don't think you've got any DRA on this. Not fitted with DRA, I don't think. Hello, Richie. Yes, one five eight height. Uh, when you get in the railhead treatment train, what happens when you get in the railhead treatment train? But how do we turn up the clag factor? Does anyone know? Uh, we're going to be calling at uh, Loughborough, so we've got a uh, an extra stop, uh, Loughborough East Midlands Parkway, 
and then a Nottingham. Right, first up's Loughborough, and that is in 12 miles. Funny little signal bell on here. Do it on that one as well. Cool, right, let's go. Hopefully we get going. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the HST. There's a triple two. Another sort of the shaking sound, or like the jackhammer sound you can sort of hear. As it vibrates as we uh, make our way out. All of that power. There we go, again. notch it out. And off we go. Oh, we're good to have it off. Hopefully, you're all well. Cool. So, I'm guessing the road map, which I think the road map isn't too far off, I guess it will literally just be everything which was in the summit of rail. I suppose I doubt there'll be anything new on there. It's got a 120 coming up. So yeah, fair. Well, I suppose very quick along this route. It's not. It's not slow. Slow. I 
let's get we gotta get another flower bar shot. We have to. Let's go ahead and get a bloody flower bar shot. <laughs> oh wow. What's the DVD as goes up as soon as we get the external shot? So yeah, this is the VP185. Whereas the one on GWE, the Great Western one, is what, MTU? something coming our way. I'd say that might just be us actually. It's probably just us. Very built up around here. Nice bit of speed though. Uh, we've got five miles to lift from. up and personal fly by shot. Yeah, there we go from here. That'll do. Yeah, nice bit of industry along this route though. Obviously, uh, that does bring into the equation freight. Uh, which hopefully we'll see a few freight services uh, on on here on the Trenton World. As if we've got the right wagons and right rolling stuff. We probably do. Yeah, it's very built up though, isn't it? Very uh, built up between Leicester and Loughborough. It shouldn't be too far now though. Start probably bringing that down fairly soon. And it's quite flat as well, but we are slowly going down, but very, very gradually uh, sort of going down. Today we've checked out Derby to Nottingham and well Leicester to Nottingham. Don't we'll get an uh, overshoot as well. So let's start bringing that down nice and steadily. As the brakes on here are uh, okay. Yeah, coming into our uh, first station stop. And we are 10 coaches. That's with the HST. Should be coming in at a fairly nice rate at the moment. Or oh, actually, I don't know. Should be okay. Let's get a little bit more breaking job. Ooh, this actually looks a bit quick. This does feel quite quick. Everyone hold on to your horses. Forty miles an hour is not really ideal. Looks like the platform's quite long though. Right, I think we're all good. Uh, yeah, the new uh, Sosnivik one, which has manual levers, or manual levers, yeah, levers. Um, it has manual levers to it. Although, apparently at the moment they've still got the um, computer system in there. So 
obviously a little bit quick into there, but we're all good. Still alive. Here we are. This is Loughborough. Welcome to Loughborough. What's good about Loughborough? What's here? Someone tell me. What, what's in Loughborough? What's good about Loughborough? East Midlands Parkway next, we're all good to go. What we'll do is we'll watch it leaving. Hopefully it doesn't kill the PC. I don't want to get that into... Uh... Oh my god, the DVD again. That thing doesn't like us. And East Midlands Parkway next. Lifra is the place Top Gear raced to uh, with their caravan and Jaguar trains. Was that on the Great Central Railway, wasn't it? Whatever it's called, yeah, Great Central. Yeah, after this, not too sure we'll be 
are going to be on. Um, yeah, not, not sure yet. That's all good, buddy. I would just play Train Some Classic again, but since we're doing it to something different. Um, so, yeah, not sure. There's the power station, so yeah, not too far off uh, East Midlands Park, right? That's what that sort of the marker for East Midlands Park, uh, Park right? You see the power station start slowing down. Kevin, just uh, watching where is this from and to. Uh, we're going from Leicester, uh, Leicester to Derby on today's run. No, Leicester to Nottingham. And then before this we did Derby to Nottingham. Well, there's a uh, 158. station this one. I think it's a fairly new one as well. Sort of within the last decade or so? Or is it older than that? That sounds like a lot, Matty, in that currency. As soon as we get out of DVD, yeah, 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 we know. I wonder if you can actually see the airport in the distance. Because I think it's over there somewhere. Doesn't look like it. There's the power station. Look at that. It's awesome. I think it's all been knocked down, though. Uh, has it been knocked down now? Is the station on? Oh, is the station on the West Coast Main Line? Uh, no. Maybe William. Maybe. I mean, I'd imagine so. What a lovely horn this one has. Right. Let's go off again. Oh, on the outside looks really good. And then you just go inside the train, you're like, oh yeah, this, this is train some classic. Just, yeah. That. And that. Oh, the outside looks fab, though. You've got Northern Transpennine, you need Tees Valley for the 37 on Birmingham. Uh, yeah. Go back in. Got the sun visors as well. Can we actually get them down? Not sure. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, we do work. Okay, right, Nottingham next. Let's go. 
Sounds fantastic though. Uh, yes, Davidoff, I've mentioned that twice. Uh, yes. Right, let's get that. Like I said, I don't know what it will be yet. I don't know. I don't know yet. Double off. <laughs> Not too bothered. Uh, well, I, I don't know what we'll, we'll do after this. I don't think we can be bothered to do. It's really. I'll, I'll just. I'll just say I'm trying to classic all day. That's why I can't really. by a shot. Oh my god, DVD! <laughs> that thing is so irritating. Okay. So we're chasing yellow, so maybe there was a train, maybe there is a train ahead of us. Quite possibly. Signal sections are quite well shortish along this bit. So it's probably a fairly busy corridor. Yeah, single yellow, and that's what we're following. You can actually see the red as well. That is really close. So we're at one five six. Uh, yeah, we're train a train, so of course, so you get quite a few services for the RHTT train. So yeah, we're following a slow service. Well, I think the signal let us go first. Reservoir or late for that. <laughs> and also, I think now we can. Oh, shit, I think we can actually. Now we might be able to. There's a scenario, it's like King's Cross the Leeds via Cambridge. Goes uh, well via Cambridge. Uh, I think as far as Peterborough, might be able to do that now. I'm not sure if this um, AP pack would 
Yeah, not sure. It's a different engine, I believe, to the other one. And that train will probably stop at Beeston as well. So we'll have to follow it. Uh, yes, but what we know at the moment with him, yeah. Nice, Matty. That's Attenborough. Just taking it slow. Don't want to be stop, start, stop, start. So we'll let that train get a little bit of distance. You can still see it, just there. Tail end of it. It's probably at beast and now, uh, or near enough. And once it's passed there, it should be sort of near enough out of our way. Hopefully. On the 1st of March, we're not far there. Awesome. So the US DLC should be out by then, so... Maybe we're able to get a couple of them. Let's start putting some step one brakes on for now. Very nice. As we come up to the... Uh... Oh, yellow now. So that's where we left the station. So yeah, we should now... It should hopefully be getting out of our way fairly soon. Nottingham isn't really that far now. Well, okay, it's still four miles, but not too far. of uh, water around here though. I've seen another lake on reservoir. Hello Steve, how are you? You can tell I do like the horn on this one. It's a good horn. Hello Florian, how are you? When's a new US route coming out? Uh, well, this month. Probably more towards the end of the month, I'd say. That's just like a sneaky surprise release. Mm -hmm. And I think there's also green. Lovely, yeah, because that one's got out of the way now. I think just about see it in the distance. Yeah, <laughs> we do, Ben. Also flying. Yeah, that would be cool too. Let's hope Sky have pull it off all right, though.
Uh, have I done the reverse challenge? Yes, that was yesterday. Hello, Damien. Is the Matlock branch coming to the new Midland Main Line? No. But funny you say that because a 1960s version of it's going to be coming, uh, Damien. The Peak Forest route that goes from Ambergate, which I suppose is the first station on the uh, Matlock branch, to Buxton and Chinley. So, yes, it is coming, but just not to the. Well, it'll be a 1960s version. That's Finlay. Well, you can whack your modern trains on there, I suppose. That's gone green straight away again. It's now coming into Nottingham. Journey's end. Uh, no, that would be Damien. No. Maybe some late night ones between Nottingham and, Dar Nottingham and Derby, I suppose. But no, I can't from that, no. Cool. That was a nice run. So about sort of 35 minutes from Leicester up to Nottingham, then about the same going across to... Well, that's what it's all, literally all the same. It's like a half hour, 35 minute triangle. 35 minutes from Nottingham to Derby, 35 minutes from Derby to Leicester, and then 35 minutes from Leicester back up to Nottingham. Uh, yes, William. Yeah, it's going to lay out over. So you'd have to own the Boston Sprinter one first. We got fifteen coming into the platform. And there we have it. That is another stream on the upcoming. Well, this is not the train sim world well version, but at least the uh, train simulator version of an upcoming route, the upcoming Midland Mainline route for train sim world. Well. Hello Rob, um, decent, decent. <laughs> so, uh, oh, is this like a new platform? Yeah, it's like a much newer platform, this one. Sort of outside of the older station. Just like Gatwick, Platform 7 being the new one. There's a tram up there. How's your flying going, Rob? Uh, this is on PC, this isn't on console. You can tease Valley on the 31, lovely. Here we are. Now, now we have it, that is a run along there. Let's get the two off. Um, there we go. Well, that is going to be everyone. Uh, for today's uh, stream on the Midland Mainline on Train Simulator. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Um, you're not getting the railhead treatment train. Oh, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. I'll be back later. No idea what we're doing yet. I just want to play Train Sim Classic, really, but I suppose we have to do something else. Um, yeah, links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. 
Uh, apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.